Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here, and in this video, we're gonna take those concepts we discussed earlier about two-point perspective, and we're gonna put them to use, all right? So, you don't really have to go and draw the, the horizon line and the vanishing points, and then you map everything out. You don't really have to do that if you don't want to, because, you know, these are just tools, they're not rules. The, the hack or the cheat that I really love using is making this side longer, this side shorter, and then I'll kind of taper the box. And then the next thing you know, I've got something that is, you know, magically going and disappearing into perspective. Okay? The same can be said with the other side. So if I go and extend these lines outward, I can do the exact same thing right here, where I've got a smaller, larger, and then this is smaller, this is larger. Okay, and you know, you can, uh, as you practice this a million times, you'll get better at it and you'll be able to use your own, you know, hacks, tips, and tricks to be able to make this happen. Okay, so now let's take this thing and let's kind of make something out of it. So what I would do is once I have this kind of blocked in, I would think about, well, what is it that I'm trying to draw? Maybe draw an old school GTO from the 1960s. Okay, so I'd kind of organize some space for the bumper. Maybe organize a little bit of space for the headlights. Here's the center part for where the grill is going to be, and we can kind of can add in those other details later. And then since the car is kind of going, this is where the front end of the vehicle is. It's a good idea to figure out where we're going to put in the, the arches for the uh, wheel well. Okay, so that's where the wheels are going to be. Let's kind of go and map out where the door is going to be. And then I'm starting to realize, well, I'm a little out of space, so I'm going to extend this outwards a little bit more. But remember the trick, you want to make that smaller if, as it gets closer to the vanishing point, a little bit smaller as it goes away from the camera, um, because, you know, that's part of the illusion. Okay, so we got pretty much the part of the car that's kind of boxed in. So now we could start to think about, okay, how are we gonna put the rest of the vehicle in there as well? So we can kind of put the, the pillars for the door. And then remember, we've got this vanishing point out here. So we've gotta kind of connect. Be careful, don't put the line out here, don't put the line out there, don't put the line down there. You kind of want it to, remember, if the length of this one is pretty tall, around here is where the other one's gonna be. So you need it to taper, okay? You can kind of fake things a bit and change the angle just a just a, a smidge and you're gonna stay out of trouble, okay? So the next thing that you do is, um, and you know, here's a little side tutorial. Um, if you're gonna draw some kind of a, a rounded object that's gonna fit within the confines of a box, think about splitting that box into four and then you round the corners of that box. And then before you know it, you've got some kind of a cylinder, which is gonna be like a tire, okay? And then you could do the exact same thing to the parts on the inside. And next thing you know, you've got a pretty cool rim, okay? So anyways, that's a little side demo on how to do a wheel. So now that that's set up, you could start to look at the, the image that you're studying from, and then you can you could sketch in the overall shape of the wheels and things like that. And then we're gonna save the details for later. But essentially what you wanna do is you wanna go and make sure your measurements are right, your angles are right, before you spend any time doing any kind of details. After you figure this out, you can go back and you can go and make, um, you can make your details start to happen and make this thing actually look like a vehicle, okay? So, you know, this is a little extra, but what I would do next is I would just go back in and in fact, you know what, why not take this, drop the opacity down so you can actually go to the layer and lower the opacity, you get a brand new layer that goes on top of it. And then what you could do is on the new layer, you could start to really sketch out and take your time and to figure out the level of detail and the style that you want to set up for your drawing. Okay, so at any rate, um, go give this a try. Um, figure out where those vanishing points are. Go ahead and use these concepts of longer um, edges 
and smaller edges depending on the relationship to the horizon line. Uh, get your box in there first. After you get your box in there, really break everything apart. Follow those rules or those tools um, about how things get smaller as they get farther away, smaller, 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 smaller. If you do that, I think you're gonna make some really good drawings. All right guys, we'll see you in the next video, thanks.